Hey, I got a cup of coffee and in my little mini series of smaller knives, which uh, I have not shown that many of, I have come to, after the best tech uh, Zen, I have come to the CRKT below. A very interesting design by Jesper Voxnes, who is a fellow Dane, by the way, and um, indeed it has had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, hype, uh, and uh, some described it as the best knife. Sorry, just need a sip of coffee. As uh, the best knife, the one of the best knives of 2017, and. Uh, well, uh, smaller knives are, are generally not my thing, but I see the, I see the, um, the, the, the attraction on this one, and I'll try to uh, review it as a, just a good as a, as a cutting tool more than out of my uh, my preferences. Then you sh you be the judge. A blade with a, yeah, more or less a sheep's foot. Um, and a little bit of a switch at the front of the blade and I try to you can see the edge is extremely uh, wide uh, I mean uh, the, 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 wi the wideness of the edge is uh, yeah, maybe three millimeters and the blade is rather thick it is not thin behind the edge either, so it is not the best of slice, slicers, and that uh, I feel is a bit of a pity. Flat grind, I feel it's a bit of a pity because, um, well, this is a tool for choking up and doing some nice, uh, whatever, uh, cutting wood for, for kindles or whatever. So it would be a nice, it would have been a nice thing with a, with a more slicey edge, but I think it is a bit, a bit wide behind the edge. Uh, HCR 13 MOV steel and the CRKG logo here. The opening is a, a hole, opening mechanism you could call it, and uh, you have the pillar name on the other side and the Voxness design uh, printed there. Uh, I'm really not that fond of too much printing on the knife but yeah it's there. I hear that uh, that uh, Blade HQ has done an exclusive uh, on this of this. I would have so wanted to get my hands on that because that would have taken a bit of the weight off for, for the size. Uh, surprisingly heavy little knife quickest uh, size comparisons the uh, Ontario Red one as usual the Kershaw injection three and a half perhaps uh, Spyderco Tenacious so not a big knife but of course uh, this the knife's claim for, to fame is uh, the ergonomics, which I have to admit and I tell you are quite, quite great. Uh, the handle is um, stainless steel, and actually in this light, this light, this light, it looks sort of pinkish, but uh, I think it, it actually has some, yeah, silvery color. Uh, grayish uh, titanium like but it is stainless steel very beefy uh, very, very beefy scales uh, and nothing milled out inside which is yeah well and it is very heavy uh, the back I think maybe the backspacer here is it could be aluminum, I'm not sure. It could also just be a lump of stainless steel, but uh, it has a feel like uh, aluminum. A lanyard hole at the back here. Uh, 
not sleeved, but it goes through the the, the backspacer, so it functions sort of a sleeve, like a sleeve anyway. Uh, looking at the other side, pocket clip, and this knife is uh, tip up or tip down, tip up or tip down, uh, right side carry. Sorry, lefties. Uh, room for a lot of material beneath the, the pocket clip which is fairly deep carry but not deep deep carry and then of course a very <coughs> distinctive um, distinctive cutout relief cutout for the lock bar here and uh, as you can see at the bottom here frame is quite thick all around and that is of course what adds to the weight here Torx 8 pivot screw, Torx 6 screws for the hardware for the rest of the knife. Let's move on to the this knife's claim for fame. It is very, very good in hand. It has great, great ergonomics. Uh, you can you can hold it like this, no jumping, but uh, and you have you have a decent amount of knife behind, even in a large hand, uh, behind uh, a decent amount of handle in your hand. You can also grip it with your pinky finger, so four finger grip is possible. Um, but the best thing is almost when you chug up, it just sits so nice in your hand that way. You choke up with, the, of course, with the finger joil here behind the edge, and you have a very, very nicely controlled knife for for final tasks. And then again, uh, I'm a bit sad that it doesn't have a better um, a better uh, edge, uh, a little thinner behind the edge, and the. Uh, the edge is a bit uneven and that's a bit sad. Um, action, it is on washers and uh, I actually had to take it apart to get a decent action. It is, It was very stiff and it, it doesn't have the most smooth action. Yeah, it's smooth but it's very stiff and uh, you can uh, if you put a bit of work in it, you can spider flick it, and uh, but otherwise it's more like a roll out slowly blade, which of course is also a nice thing in some in some countries with strange knife laws. Uh, the the spider flicking I can do off camera, but I really have to have to put some effort in it for on camera. So all in all, what do I think about this knife? Yeah, well, CRKT, as always, uh, unfortunately, CRKT always takes a good uh, or even great design and then they put their own mark on it, which means bad materials, a bit of too much weight. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it's not it, it, it would have been nice with just a little bit better materials, a little bit better finish, uh, build quality, like not that monstrous edge here, which is, uh, as you can see, really, really broad. And um, yeah, I have said it before when I reviewed CIKT, they, uh, they, just, they just don't go the whole nine yards. Uh, you end up with a decent quality in a great design and that's a bit too bad. Still I can easily recommend it but um, yeah a bit too heavy for my taste especially for a knife this small um, but uh, surprisingly good uh, considering that I'm not the most f the most fond of big of uh, smaller knives so um, uh, recommendation with some prejudice I think uh, because it could have been done better and I really really would hope that uh, someone would take this design and do it a little better not necessarily in premium materials but just a little bit of quality of, of finish on it uh, that would have been nice so that was my take on the CRKT Pilar 
I hope you have a pleasant day, evening, whatever it is in your country. Bye bye.